What are the Portland Trailblazers doing? First off, I gotta congratulate them. You got Scoot Henderson at pick three. You didn't have to trade up to get him. You got the best point guard prospect, and in my opinion, the second best prospect in this draft at number three. But they're not trading Damian Lord, or they're not moving him unless he publicly requests a trade, which I don't know if that's gonna happen. So I'm going to keep Damian Lord today. We're gonna try to win a championship with him and Scoot Henderson in Portland. Yeah, because my next... Trailblazers rebuild could be a trading game or once he gets traded the assets to get for him Blazers rebuild So this might be my last opportunity to ever rebuild the Blazers with Damian Lillard on them So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Yeah, they got Scoot Henderson at number three just trade Dame, get the assets for him. Just in real life, it would look so much better on paper. But for today, we're going to try to win it with him and Scoot in the backcourt. I said throughout the pre-draft process that I really wanted the Hornets to take Scoot because I think LaMelo and him can work. So we're going to probably move Dame to the shooting guard position and make Scoot Henderson the lead point guard. Now, Shaden Sharp could be our small forward for the future. And I mean could. I think Anthony Simons is the odd man out. I don't know if I'm trading him this offseason or at the deadline or next year's offseason. But those are definitely our four most valuable pieces at the moment. They also got Chris Murray at pick 23. We're going to try to develop him as well just to be a 3 and D guy for us. And I really like the Ryan Rupert pick in the second round. I thought there was a chance he could have won in the first round as well. He's probably going to start off the season in the G League, but we could develop him to being a rotational piece for us. All right, so we're going to give Jeremy Grant 16 million a year for the next three seasons. Grant definitely has more leverage with the Blazers because they need him more than he needs them because he can get his money elsewhere. Maybe it's Sacramento or maybe it's San Antonio or a team that has cap space. Portland doesn't really have any other options. They're right up there against the cap. We're going to give him three years around $48 million till his age 32 season. I think I'm also going to bring back Drew Eubanks and Cam Reddish, hopefully, if Cam Reddish doesn't sign after day one. Um, oh no, that's my qualifying offer. Okay, so we get Jeremy Grant. There we go. Let's renounce the rights on IDP. Remember him, John Butler, Justice Winslow, and I honestly think Matisse is probably gone. But yeah, Drew Rubanks, two-year deal. Give a team option on the next year. I might give a two-year deal for Cam Radish. I don't even know if he cracks the rotation, but if injuries do happen, he could slide in there. So we get all three of these guys back in Portland. So do I think this team can win a championship next year? Hell no. But I don't really have a good trade in place for Anthony Simons at the moment. So maybe I look to move him at the deadline. So Damian Lillard does regress. I mean, I'm not surprised. And I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on what the Trailblazers can do. Especially you Blazers fans out there, please, what do you want to see Portland do? Do you want to see them maybe flip Scoot or just trade Simons and maybe Sharp or just Simons to go out and get another help now piece for Dame and Scoot? Or at this point, right, just trade Dame to Miami or Brooklyn. All right, so this is the starting five. It's weird, man. It really is. So we got Scoot, Willard, Sharp, Grant, and Nurkic with a bench of Anthony Simons, Cam Reddish, Drew Eubanks, Chris Murray, and Nasir Little. I would like to get Trenton Watford some minutes, but yeah, like injuries will happen. He will slide in there. I'm going to send Ryan Rupert to the G League. So game one of the season, actually before we do that, let's see what our assistant proficiency is under Chauncey Billups. Three and a half star perimeter centric defense is probably not good yet. It's a star and a half. So let me change his preferred system because that would just be a horrible start to the year. I think if we do underperform and honestly, we don't make the playoffs, probably going to go in a different direction with the head coach next year. And yeah, we're probably going to fire Chauncey Billups. Even though I don't want to do it, I've dealt him a tough hand there. Still having Dame in the backcourt with Scoot Henderson, but maybe it works out. Okay, we score 137 points in the first game of the season, but we we gave up 139. Okay, this is going to be an interesting season. All right, then we get two days off. We got a road game against the OKC Thunder in which we give up 138 points. Simons has 32 points in 23 minutes. Yeah, I think if we can move Simons for like an all-world defender is going to be the goal. I don't know why Chauncey Billups is only playing him like 21 minutes a night. There we go. We beat the Kings. We dropped 141, but we still gave up 117 points, which isn't good. Then we gave up 116. We have yet to allow a team under 110 this year that is bad oh my god 129 points to the houston rockets can we like hold a team under 120 good lord like there we go it was the pacers game we may never hold a team under 100 points this defense is bad. Up oh, and Yusuf Nurkic is unfortunately hurt. I mean, we'll score under 100 points, but we can't hold our opponents under 100. Oh, and there goes Trenton Watford, who is playing well in Nurkic's absence. Luckily, Nurkic is back, though. We're 10 and 13. Okay, we're 13 and 21. Ugh, is this like a soft retool year with Dame? Like, we just developed Scoot as the starting point guard, maybe? Like, it, we'd probably be able to get the best offer for Simons. I'm trying to think, like, what I would even do. Do we try to get Ananobi? Do we try to get Mikkel Bridges? Okay, there we go. We get a nice winning streak there. All right, so we do get Damian Lillard on Team Giannis here. He is shooting 69% as a true shooting percentage. 45 from three, 90 from the line. He's having an incredible year. 
We're 14 games under 500. Oh my god, okay. I'm doing it with Dame though. I'm doing it because I think they're... Oh my god, wow. We are on an insane losing streak right now. Thank god their pick is lottery protected in this draft. It's a shame too because this team is like fully healthy. So we're going to just see how they can finish up the regular season. You know what? Maybe it's not the worst thing. Like I said, it's a Scoot development year. It's a Shaden Sharp development year. We figure out an Anthony Simons trade. Maybe we upgrade in the front court over Jeremy Grant or Yusuf Nurkic. We add a top five pick in the draft. You know what? This isn't the worst case scenario for this team maybe we weren't going to win it all in 2024 and our real goal was 2025 and trey young wins the 2024 mvp okay scoot hand or excuse me victor not scoot is your rookie of the year chris paul is your sixth man of the year in golden state shout out to him Giannis depoy paul people paul most improved okay we got nobody on any of these teams now like all defensive second team i surprise the is here but isaac we could trade for he's currently on dallas claxton could be in an Anthony Simon trade, but he's a free agent. Mikel Bridges would be tough as well because his contract is so good. Maybe we, I don't need another guard. I need a wing or big defender, and I'm not trading for any of these guys. That would just be kind of impossible. Scoot did get hurt at the end of the year. He could have played through it. We did not even make the point to him. Like I said, this was a complete retool year which is fine. Oh my God, we're still going to end up with like the 12th overall pick in the draft probably. So yeah, like I said, it's probably a guarantee that Anthony Simons has traded this offseason for maybe an upgrade at the center position. Yusuf Nurkic was horrible. If I could attach him in that trade, I would feel great about it. But if not, you know, I'm fine with him as the backup five. So you're the Celtics Pelicans finals. Tatum is your finals MVP. They won in five. Ah, there goes LeBron. He ends up retiring. So yeah, like I said, we're either looking for a small forward defensive upgrade, but I wouldn't mind still having Shaden Sharp out there, but I also don't mind Shaden Sharp as like our go-to sixth man with Scoot and Dame in the starting five. Our pick is only there at 10, so maybe 2K will give me some insane luck because they don't think I'm going to get it. All right, come on, give me some luck. No, uh, we're going to get that pick because it's lottery protected. Wow, the Thunder have picks four and five in the top 10. Spurs have one and six. Oh my God, because that pick is like top four protected the Raptors from the Pirtle trade. And they're adding all that to Wemby. Oh, see the teams we got to beat in the West. So yeah, Chauncey Billups is going to get fired as our head coach. Ooh, Mike Boonholzer would be cool, but he's in a system right now. So it he always gets blocked. It sucks. Assistants always get blocked. I hope 2K fixes that next year. Mark Dagno, who's got okay ratings. Joe Prunty. Kevin Young. Oh no, that's Keith Young. Jason Kidd? Can Jason Kidd save the Blazers? All right, yep, let's hope Jason Kidd is our Lord and Savior. All right, I want to see if Cleveland is looking for like another score slash shot creator. We're going to give them Anthony Simons for Jared Allen and pick 25. What about just Simons for Jared Allen straight up? They say no. Well, I don't want to give up pick 10 in this deal. So also give you Nasir Little. That's a good offer. Of course, this team just doesn't have any cap space whatsoever. Can I take Ricky Rubio back? Really? Really? Uh, do I want to throw a first round pick in in 2028? We're going to have to. We get Jared Allen on the team, which is a nice upgrade, um, which means Nurkic is going to be the backup, which is a pretty good backup, actually. And we still have the 10th overall pick in the draft. That's something I kind of wanted to do because, you know what, if all goes south and like Damian Lord has to leave, you know, we would add another top 10 pick to this solid young core as Bradley Beal was just traded for the second overall pick. Okay. And we're going to get small forward Zachary Satcher there out of France. I'm definitely butchering his name. We're going to learn more about him in the 2024 draft process for sure. But that looks like it was the right selection. We're going to sign him. Cam Reddish, you are not coming back. Eubanks, probably not. Like, I'm going to choose Watford as the third string center over him. Sharp, of course. Rupert, of course. Uh, Jabari Walker and Keon Johnson, I'm also going to decline their options as well. How did Chris Murray do in his rookie season? He shot 34 from three. It wasn't too bad. I'm going to sign Dennis Smith Jr. just to a one-year deal. And Royce O'Neal to a one-year deal as well, just to fill out this roster. All right, so here is the rotation. It's going to be Scoot, Willard. I'm going to start with Satcher at the three. Uh, we got Jeremy Grant at the four, Jared Donald at the five. Shaden Sharp off the bench, 34 minutes a night, sixth man. Nurkic, Rupert, Watford, Murray. I actually like this team a decent amount. Under our new head coach, Jason Kidd, we are, let's see where we are in balance. Three stars. Okay, Grant and Allen's an interesting duo. First game of the season on the road against the Suns. We give up 129 points. Don't tell me it's going to be the same old, same old from last year. Okay, we win game two by 14. Not bad. Jeremy Grant with 23 points. Shaden Sharp, 19 off the bench. Can we start off the season two and one? I'll be happy. Really? All right, we're three and three. Can we go four and three? There we go. I just wanted to be one game over 500 before I said I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oof, Yusuf Nurkic hurt once again. It's every year now. All right, we are 25 and 15. Ryan Repair was doing a phenomenal job. Rusatcher was struggling a little bit. So I'm starting Ryan Repair. Second round pick in this past draft in 2023. 
Here we are in 2025, and he is our starting small forward. Ah, oh, Scoot Henderson gets hurt. He's out six to eight weeks with a broken right leg. So that means Dame starts, Shaden Sharp into the starting lineup. And here at the All-Star Drift, Jalen Duran making it 2K God, man. He's literally the 2K Shaq. We do get Damian Lord on Team Luka. Just another elite shooting season from Dame. And we are... We're, we might be 19 games above 500 here at the deadline if 2K ever wants to simulate this Lakers game. Wow, this one actually took like 20 minutes to simulate. We're 19 games above 500. That's what I am talking about. Shaden Sharp, 21 points a night as well, shooting 40% from three. Scoot will be back sooner than we know it. Jared Allen's having a good year. He's got also $20 million guaranteed next year. Jeremy Grant's doing a fine job. I just wish he was more of a rebounder, but 40 from three for Grant, I really got to appreciate. Ryan Rupert, 50 from the field, 41 from three, hell yeah. Rusatcher has honestly been okay as well for a 19-year-old rookie. And then we have Nurkic, Watford, Chris Murray there. I don't think I'm going to make any moves at the deadline. I don't really know what to do. Our pick is lottery protected, so we're not going to get it. Uh, do I, I don't know. We could see who's on the trade block. Draymond's on the block. Do I just trade Jeremy Grant for Draymond? Ah, well, he's probably cooked here. James Harden's on the block, but that doesn't help us. Brooke and Middleton, hmm, hmm, Middleton's interesting, he really is, but I don't think he's that good of a defender anymore where we really want him, ooh, Marcus Smart, Desmond Bain, and Dylan Brooks, Trey Young's on the trade block, whoa, there's a lot of studs, Tyler Hero is on the block, Miles Bridges, Onyeka Okungwu, Kevin Herter, oh my god, this trade block's insane right now, Michael Porter Jr., you're 16 games above 500, Valanchunas, Okay, um, Chris Stops is on the block. Oh, wow. Okay, um, do not like Chris Stops and Wemby. How much is KP making a year? $30 million. It would be tough to get there financially. Like, I would, I wanted to keep Grant in this, but that just seems like it's impossible. Like, I would have to move Nurkic, and I would still be $7 million off. I would include Rubio. Would you do this? I mean, you get off of his contract. Honestly... Maybe they do this. I don't really have any draft picks to give up. That's the thing. I already traded one in that Jared Allen deal. I would give you Chris Murray as well if you like him, but I don't think that's really going to work out. Maybe they just don't want to pay KP all that money. I don't even think they accept this offer, but they may because he's on the trade block and maybe he's easier to trade for. They say no. I would throw in two second round picks, maybe three. Does that get it done? No. Um, I don't really want to give up a first, but that could be a win now move this season. KP and Jared Allen in the front court. That's nice. That really is good. I would give up. I get off the Nurkic contract. Do I want to give up my first in 2026? Lottery protected. That's the most I would do for KP. Maybe they really want a first. They say no. What about if I give you two more seconds? No. Okay. What about a third? This is the most I will offer for KP. No. Okay. Never mind. Let's just, I, I wanted to try it. We'll maybe revisit it in the off season where Nurkic isn't expiring. Maybe they'll like that more. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully we stay relatively healthy. Luka wins MVP this year. Robert Dillingham, rookie of the year. Six man goes to Cole Anthony. AD, Depoy, Keontae, George, most improved. And Mark Dagnoja, coach of the year. He looks so young in that photo. Do we get any trailblazers on the all NBA teams? We do not. Ooh, Herb Jones. I mean, he's making decent amount of money i was like oh i'm trying to scout out some of these defenders we can try to get and we get ryan repair and versatcher there on all rookie second team we finish as the two seed in the western conference there we go i like to see that so damon Miller led us in scoring followed by shaden sharp scoot henderson who averaged 6.8 assists and 1.7 steals tonight jared allen averaged a double double uh in 1.3 blocks there's jeremy grant who shot 41 percent from three ryan repair Pretty good rookie season from him. He's going to be our starting small forward in the playoffs. And to be honest with you, I think I may start Trenton Watford over Yusuf Nurkic. So yeah, I think we're going to go about 10 minutes to Chris Murray, 15 to Watford, maybe 20 to Rasatcher, 35 to Sharp. Yeah, we could do that. Let's get maybe 32 to Allen and we could do what? One more to Dame, 37. Let's see how this works. We're taking on the New Orleans Pelicans who were in the NBA Finals last year. They have Bradley Beal now. 2K just always trades Beal. I don't really get it, but that's a nice trio of Beal, Zion, and Ingram. We lost game one. It's the CJ McCollum versus Damian Lillard series, which is pretty cool. Jared Allen had an 18-18 and eight game here. We lost by two at home, which sucks. We That was must win game two, where we end up winning 118 108 shade and sharp with 34 game number three boom there we go we're up two to one we dropped oh i was gonna say 51 in the fourth oh my god no we gave up 51 in the fourth that is embarrassing but hey a win is a win shout out to lillard with 12 assists game number 
four, we end up losing by 19, which is fine because we're going to win game five. And we do. Let's go at home. We win by 25. Scoot with 31 and 7. He's having a solid playoff series in his first career one. And we end up winning in six games. And we move on to take on the Houston Rockets in the Western Conference quarterfinals. Shaden Sharp, man. The dude is an absolute stud. 25 in that series. Dame was great. Scoot was great. So is Jeremy Grant and Jared Allen. I really like this team. All right, so we're taking on the Rockets. They got Kevin Porter Jr. starting in front of Amen Thompson. They got Cam Whitmore there at the three. I'm excited to do this Rockets rebuild. They got Nikola Vucevic there at the five. Amen is coming off the bench. So let's see what happens here. Game one, the Trailblazers win by 10. Lowered with 26, sharp with 20. 20 rebounds for Jared Allen. I was gonna say, he should be bullying Shangun. We end up getting blown out in game two though. Game number three, we win. There we go, by 16 points. Lillard with 32, six and seven. Uh, Scoot with 29, three, seven and three steals as well. Here we go, game number four. Boom, three to one, we win 125, 124, 27 and nine for Jared Allen. Seven rebounds, seven assists for Scoot Henderson. Don't blow a three to one lead and oh no, who's hurt? Okay, okay, it could be a lot worse. It's Zachary Satcher. He was actually shooting well from the line and from three there. So I'm probably going to give those minutes to Chris Murray. Do I give it to Nurkic? Do I give it to Royce O'Neal? I'll give Nurkic 15 minutes a night. Sure. Can we win in five? There we go. We win in five anyway. We win by three at home. Scoot drops 134. Excuse me. No, Scoot dropped 34. 134 would be kind of insane. Uh, we win 134, 131. Jared Allen with a monster performance. I think he just dominated that round two series. Yeah, Allen, 17 and 13. 1.2 blocks, one steal a night. Shaden Sharp, 18 points. Scoot, man, 23 and a half, 5.8 assists. Repair, 47 from the field. 44 from three for the rookie. That's incredible. And we're going to be taking on the Dallas Mavericks, who have the MVP in Luka Doncic. They've added Clint Capella, Buddy Heal, Jonathan Isaac, some nice additions. Let's see if we can beat them and go to the NBA Finals. Okay, maybe this is all the Blazers need to do, right? <laughs> As we're up 2 0 on the Dallas Mavericks. We go up 3 0. We win by 12 here. And I maybe didn't even need to trade for Chris Ops Porzingis because we just swept the Dallas Mavericks and we are in the NBA Finals. Scoot Henderson is your Western Conference Finals MVP. And you got Jalen Brown in the East there. Yeah, and Jalen Brown's on the Raptors. He beat his former team. They have Lonzo and Brown. Oh, Barnes, Vanderbilt, Harnstein. Is Siakam hurt? Because Siakam is no longer there. They do have Cam Reddish. Pascal Siakam is in Utah and he signed with them. So yeah, they didn't get anything in return. Game one, we lose by 16. This is a good Raptors team, man. Jalen Brown, better than Siakam, at least in 2K standards. We win by 17 here in game two. Game three, we pick up the L Ugh, by 16. That's unfortunate. Game four, we end up winning 140-137. Holy shit, what a performance from the boys. Ryan Repair with 24, Sharp with 24, Scoot with 21, Allen with 20 and 15. Game five, we win 135 124. Let's freaking go. Can we win this series? No, we're going to a game seven. We lost by five. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Game seven of the 2025 NBA Finals. Oh my God. This would feel so good to win a championship. What a first quarter. Mm, you're blowing it in the second. You're blowing it in the second. Okay, just don't blow it in the third. There we go. There we go. We're up by 13. We should really win this series. Oh my God. Okay, we're up by 11. Are we going to get Dame a ring or are we just going to have a monumental collapse? Up by 10 with 45 seconds left. Boys, we're going to do it. We're going to get Damian Lillard a ring as long as we don't choke here. Dame, game seven of the NBA Finals at home. Oh, give me that steal. Oh, wow. They called timeout. But Dame has like 33, 10, and 8. Jared Allen has 19 and 13. Ryan Repair, 9 points. But hey, maybe playing good defense even though he's D plus permanent D. Cam Reddish, what are you doing? As he gets to the rim, but he blows the layup. Jeremy Grant, 9 and 4 in this game. What does Scoot have? I feel like he has a good performance. 17 and 9. Okay, I'll take that. I'm sure Sharp is playing well. Scoot inside. Gets a screen from Jeremy Grant. He's going to pull up. Ooh, that was a weird release and he misses it. Okay. Well, they need a 3 right away. They do have a timeout remaining. Uh, Cam Reddish is going to be taking that 3. Or is it going to be Delano Banton. All right. If he hit that, I would have just cried. Scoot, turn on the Jets. Scoot with the spin move inside. And I'm just trying to score. And he does. Scoot Anderson knocks that down. And the Blazers are going to be winning the NBA championship. And finals MVP is who else but Damian Lillard. That's pretty dope. So we're going to do one more year as Chris Paul retires on the Pacers. Russ on the Suns. Ah, uh, there goes Scott Brooks, our top assistant. But yeah, Dame stays loyal and they win a championship. 
The Nets get the number one pick via Phoenix, but they lose their pick at five from the Harden deal originally. So we ended up drafting London Johnson there at 30. Doesn't really look too good. We're going to pick up all these guys as team options. I may revisit the Chris Stops deal. We'll see. I would like to bring back Trenton Wofford on a two-year deal. Even Rubio back on the minimum as well. Repair is going to be a restricted free agent, so we're probably going to get him back on the qualifying offer. Oh my God. Could we get Corey Kispert? Oh my God, on the mid-level exception, this would be an insane pickup. Please give me Corey Kispert, please. Let's fucking go. That is a massive pickup. All right, I want to see if I can do a four for one. Chris Murray, Yusuf Nurkic, Wanda Johnson, who we just took at 30 and Rubio for KP. They say no. What about if I give you my first round pick unprotected next year? They say no. What about one final offer? <laughs> Boom, there we go. We get Chris Ups, Porzingis, guys. This offseason has been incredible to us. I'm going to send Malik Beasley as well on the vet minimum. Let's get repair back on the QO. And boom, there we go. Player progression. This team could be really good. I'm going to start KP at the four. We're going to have Allen at the five. Scoot progresses. So does Sharp. I love the Kispert edition. All right, so it's going to be Scoot, Willard, Kispert, KP, Allen with Sharp, Grant, Repair, Resatcher, and Watford off the bench. System proficiency is three and a half stars. Let's see if we can go back to back with this Blazers squad. Darius Garland wins MVP. Ian Jackson, rookie of the year, the number one overall pick in Brooklyn. Scoot gets sixth man of the year. Oh, uh, did 2K put him off the bench? Well, that's annoying. We finished the season as the four seed. We did have some injuries as well. Uh, you could see, well, Scoot played all 82. So did Lillard. So did Sharp. KP missed a bunch of the season, which kind of hurt. And that really affected his efficiency. But everybody's healthy for the playoffs, thankfully. We're going to be taking on the Minnesota Timberwolves in round one. Have they developed Leonard Miller at all? Or did they let him walk? Unfortunately, they let him walk. Well, not when I do that, Timberwolves. But let's see. Can we, you know what? defend our throne and win round one and we do and yes we get to face the eight seeded utah jazz who upset the one seeded kings for me well thank you utah in round one we swept uh the timberwolves as dame averaged 25 scoot 24 sharp 19 kp you know playing a lot better now that he's healthy can we beat the utah jazz and go to the conference finals oh my god no you gotta be kidding me we just blew a three to one lead i had so much confidence i was like you know we just swept round one we were just up Oh my god, really? We win game one, win game two, lost game three, only by four. We were up three to one, and then we lose by 11, by 25. Oh my god, and then by 17, we give up 158 points there. So unfortunately, this Blazers team is not going back to back. Gotta be careful for what I wish for with Utah winning that round one series as it's the Thunder Hornets finals and the Thunder sweep the Hornets. So hope you guys did enjoy this keeping Damian Lillard, Scoot Henderson, Blazers rebuild. Let me know what you think Portland should do in the comments below. And let me know maybe what rebuild you guys want to see on the channel in the coming weeks. We got free agency starting this Friday, which is kind of crazy. It's 6 p.m. on Friday. Players can sign or agree to sign with teams if they are unrestricted or even restricted free agent. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.